BNSF police career opportunities are phenomenal. If you're interested in a career in, in law enforcement and you want a lot of freedom and the ability to not only do patrol but also conduct some really complicated investigations are very fulfilling. You get to see the case from the beginning to end. Also work in a variety of different areas with a lot of really great people. This is the place for you. We do complex investigations into wire theft. Uh, we do trespass for abatements. We do rail safe days, educating the communities that we operate in. Myself, I'm a canine handler. I'm also a firearms and defensive tactics instructor. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities for the BNSF Special Agent. As the Law Enforcement Division of the Resource Protection Team, BNSF Railroad Police are provided police authority from state and local governments and are authorized interstate authority by the federal government. The jurisdiction is wide, covering BNSF's network of 32,500 route miles and touches hundreds of local and state districts along the way. Although the BNSF police use cutting edge technology and training today, railroad policing is nearly as old as the railroad itself. Railroads began to spread across America in the 1840s. By 1850, there were more than 9,000 miles of track and commission east of the Mississippi. The discovery of gold in the West spurred on more construction. And within a decade, the railroad had tripled in size to 30,000 miles. Inevitably, westward expansion of the nation and its railroads attracted organized crime and other criminals who conducted armed robbery of passenger trains. The U.S. Army responded but was spread thin between protecting railroads, establishing outposts, and providing security for settlers. While train robberies grabbed headlines, widespread looting and theft also occurred in rail yards. All these factors drove the need for a railroad police force which was formalized through the Pennsylvania Railroad Police Act of 1865. This period in railroad history produced two well-known railroad policemen, Bat Masterson and Wyatt Earp. There is a strong history with BNSF police. We date back to the Bat Masterson days. It's a proud history. You know, we've had railroad officers for hundreds of years and we'll have them hundreds of years from now. BNSF police has a, and the railway has a very rich history and tradition of excellence, professionalism, quality services. It's a good place to work. Today, Class I railroads in the U.S. cover about 233,000 miles of track, making railroad police authority broad and diverse. BNSF Railway's police force fulfills a variety of roles and responsibilities including protecting America's vital critical infrastructures, securing hazardous material shipments, special operations such as hurricane relief, securing interstate commerce, public safety and crossing enforcement, accident investigation, cargo theft task force operations, canine teams, and border crossing enforcement. They also deal with railroad specific crimes, such as illegal dumping of hazards, graffiti damage, and theft of railroad property and materials. The BNSF Police Resource Operation Call Center, or the ROCC in Fort Worth, Texas, dispatches agents and local law enforcement to calls in 28 states. Most BNSF special agents are also on local law enforcement frequencies to support mutual aid requests and facilitate communications during special events and operations. Through federal interstate authority, BNSF police have interstate authority. Quite often, BNSF police will work with the FBI on cases involving federal railroad crimes and the Secret Service when high-ranking government officials are traveling or attending events close to BNSF property. A uh, BNSF police officer has a multitude of, of, of various responsibilities, uh, including patrol. Some people are investigations. Uh, you might find yourself one day contacting trespassers and the next day conducting a very in-depth cargo investigation. The jurisdiction of a BNSF police officer encompasses more than just uh, the railroad tracks. It never gets old. You know, you could be a, a regular municipality police officer and cover a zone of maybe a, a square mile. We have areas of officers covering 780 plus miles of track. It's rather unique because each jurisdiction is different. It broadened my law enforcement experience and showing me other ways that things are done. 
quite frequently we interact with local law enforcement agencies, be it the state police, the Chicago police, or any one of the numerous suburbs that we operate through. Uh, we rely on them for assistance in, in crimes that occur in their jurisdiction, also for help in investigations. The opportunities within BNSF police are wide ranging. The K-9 teams are recognized as top of the industry in railroad policing. These teams focus on explosives detection and patrol work. And along the Texas border, narcotics canines are deployed to inspect rail cars with merchandise moving in and out of the country. The executive protection team is assigned to protect personnel during special events. BNSF special agents with this team attend specialized training in executive protection and have worked events like the Republican and Democratic National Conventions and major sporting events such as the Super Bowl and Ryder Cup. The BNSF police training team covers many kinds of instruction. Field training officers are teamed with new agents for 90 days of basic training. Other training opportunities include firearms and defensive tactics instructors and Operation Lifesavers grade crossing collision investigation team. Special agents may also be assigned outside their normal territories to burglary response details in areas where the need arises, such as California and Arizona, as well as the Chicago area. The Special Investigations Unit is another option. These teams handle high-profile criminal prosecutions, cost control investigations, and fraud investigations, both internal and external. When I first took on the job with BNSF Police, I did not realize that it would entail in-depth investigations uh, that rival uh, complicated crimes with any agency in any area. It's more fulfilling. You have the opportunity to see a case from beginning to end and complete it. Wearing the badge of a BNSF police special agent carries with it great responsibility and honor. BNSF police have access to state-of-the-art equipment like night vision, AR-15 rifles, and thermal imaging gear. BNSF police have access to new law enforcement equipped sport utility vehicles in urban and rural areas, as well as ATVs in areas with desert sand or areas without roads. No two days will ever be the same. You're never gonna do the same thing twice. It's always gonna be a change and it's always gonna be moving forward. BNSF benefits here are great. Medical benefits are great, as well as the dental. You have your 401k in retirement. Um, that is also a plus with, with the company. You also have the tuition reimbursement that is great to have if you're wanting to pursue your education. The BNSF is very conscious about safety. They protect their employees. They're very good to their employees. They ensure that the employees remain safe in the work environment. It's a good place to work. It's good people. and. and very supportive of what we do. Anybody that has an interest in becoming a police officer, give BNSF police a really hard look. It'll be worth your time. Everything's set up for you to advance and for you to better yourself and help the company also. So, it, you know, you can't lose. Over the course of nearly two centuries, the BNSF Police Department has grown into a widely recognized, industry-leading railroad policing organization, one where the career possibilities are vast. From crime prevention to investigation to homeland security, this diverse team works diligently day after day to keep railroad employees and their communities safe.